guys. So, I just did a holiday vlog fest video and I wanted to do this one because I wanted to kind of explain to you guys why I've been, um, was gone for all those days and not in the best of moods. Um, like a lot of people during the holidays, it can get, you know, stressful and, uh, you know, you want to see family or you want to get people this and you can't because of money or you want to do this but you can't because of money or whatever it is. Um, but recently I've just been feeling really down and I don't even know if it's because of the holidays, but um, it's just been really stressful uh, for me, um, you know, having no help from family or friends, um, especially when it comes to like, just, you know, like my mom, for instance, taking my son for the night or something like that. Not that she can even do that because he's still nurses, but just little things like that, um, or taking him for the entire day and letting me and Evan have a day when we're just a couple again, uh, or just letting me be me for a day and not be a mom. Um, uh, you guys know that I live in California and I'm originally from Ontario, Canada, and I can't legally work here yet. Uh, so I pretty much spend all my time here. <laughs> uh, we don't have enough money for me to get another car or to, you know, do a bunch of stuff and be a part of all these groups and whatever. Um, I am going to talk to my husband and we have kind of briefly talked about it, about me joining a gym, um, to just get me out of the house every day, uh, when he gets home from work or before he goes to work. And as you guys all know, like working out, you know, releases endorphins and it's really good for you to just, you know, to be in a better happy mood and people that work out are usually happier people. So I definitely want to start doing that. Uh, but I've just been feeling very kind of, um, don't know where I have, what place I have in my life. And I don't know if it's because I'm 30 and I'm starting to think about, you know, the accomplishments that I've had in my life and things that I haven't done or whatever it is. Uh, you know, being a mom is one of those things that you, if you really want it, you aspire to want it. And once you're there, you know, you never want to tell anybody how hard it is. Or when a mom asks you, you know, what's it, what's it all about? Uh, you want to be like, it's amazing. And you, I've even seen people post like little comic strips about how they show like how crazy it can be to be a mom and being up all late and I mean, your kid just want you all the time and you can't sleep and all that stuff. And when someone asks you, you're like, it's wonderful because it really is wonderful. But um, it takes a lot out of you and uh, I don't think a lot of people talk about it much. Um, I don't think that I had a problem with postpartum. But I think that I might either still have hormonal problems, um, and I'm going to talk to my doctor about it to see if there's anything that, um, you know, I could do. I don't want to take any medication um, because I don't feel like that sad, I guess, but I want to be able to get some resolution for this. Um, as you guys know, I live in California. I left my job as a hairdresser. I had just become, like, a full-on like stylist I wasn't a junior stylist anymore I was really educated I had a really good <clears throat> clientele and my husband found a job and we left and uh, I just dropped my dream uh, I didn't you know even think about it I just was like of course I'm gonna do this for my husband like this is his job this is his dream I, I, I will stop my dream for him just so he can do what he wants and uh, I now am suffering just from not having um, something to call my own. Um, you know, I am a mom, but I want to be Karen as well. Um, I don't want to be just Evan Weston's mom, I want to be me. And it's sometimes very hard when you can only be one person and through just um, facts, you can't work or it's just not feasible to work because, you know, you we'll have to spend money on a babysitter and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just struggling with that right now. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of people that say like, you're so lucky that you get to stay home and you're so lucky that, you know, you have such a wonderful husband that has a great job and all this kind of stuff. But the reality is, is <clears throat> I don't feel as lucky as people think it is. Um, it is wonderful to stay home 
and I think women that can work outside of the home and still be able to spend a lot of time with their children is great. And if you work full time and you, and you still get to spend, of course, lots of time with your children is great as well. I mean, everything is amazing, but some people always think that staying home is always the best. And now that he's over a year, I'm just like, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening that um, just stress me out on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Weston is going through something right now. I'm not sure what it is, but he's very clingy um, to the point where I can't really do much right now. I just did laundry. I got ready because you guys know this is something that I want to do every day to still feel like I'm human. So I do my makeup. I try to get my hair looking half decent and I try to like dress and not be in pajamas all day. And uh, but it's sometimes I can't do any of that. I sometimes can't even do dinner. And um, I know that, that YouTube is a very good source for community and like people telling you, like, you know, I'm going through the same thing. So if you've been going through this, please tell me your story. Email me, you know, through YouTube. I'll leave my just regular email down below. Tell me your story. Let's share our lives. I mean, we already do it anyways, but if you feel the same way, let me know how you feel and let's kind of be a bigger support for each other because, you know, it's nice when I have someone FaceTime me or I have someone randomly message me um, and that's awesome, but it would be great to have more. So let me know if you guys would be interested in just getting to know me a little bit more, um, you know, maybe becoming friends, whatever it may be. Uh, even if you live in this area, I mean, I don't know how many people do, but uh, it would be great to have a meetup one time, maybe in like the San Francisco area um, of all the moms that live around here for YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. I had a long conversation with my mom, two of my best friends, my sister and my husband again last night, and I just, I feel a lot better. Um, but it's definitely a day-to-day -day thing that, that we all struggle with. And um, yeah, so that's what's been going on. Um, and let me know what your story is. So I'll leave my email below, uh, or you can leave me a Facebook message on um, my Beauty Bump uh, Facebook, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.